I guess I've always been interested in um, public service. Uh, back in my hometown of Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, there was a big, a strong focus on community support. Of course, it was a civil rights era. Um, I can remember my civics teacher uh, telling us how important it was to understand how this nation operated, uh, understand how laws were made, uh, how laws were influenced. There was an opening on the school board in my district and friends and community activists approached me and said, okay, Reggie, I think the time has come. In my community, uh, there had not been an African-American on the school board in over 10 years. Um, and it was gonna be a very interesting campaign. Uh, but I was very, very successful and uh, I enjoyed tremendously the campaign. This job, being a lobbyist is, is exciting. It's the best job I could have had because it combined my, my school board, active school board interests uh, with an advocation for public education uh, in this nation. It gives me the uh, flexibility uh, that I need to work many, many issues both at the uh, national, state, and, and local levels. A normal day would be when I'm meeting with either members of Congress or senators or their staffs. Uh, it may be uh, a meeting with officials at the Department of Education. I mean, as a lobbyist, you see behind closed doors how legislation is really put together. Certainly from a school board perspective, um, when, when I see test scores improve, when I see programs in place for students uh, who perhaps would not have had high academic achievement had it not been for a program, uh, when I see the uh, tremendous amount of technology that's been placed in our schools because the board, board members were committed uh, to that sort of investment. Uh, I think that's a tremendous uh, a reason to be proud. Here at NSBA, uh, I think that uh, when we're able to uh, convince members of Congress uh, to do the right thing when it comes to public education, uh, I think that's a tremendous uh, achievement to be, to be proud of.